Hello guys. Uh, don't know if you guys know, I did post a, uh, uh, like a, a public comment on YouTube not too long back. Uh, basically, I have been uh, asked by a, uh, a studio in Berlin um, if I could make them uh, a rotary uh, subwoofer for them. Uh, obviously, I replied and said, yeah, why not? Um, so we did some negotiation and um, they sent me a deposit <clears throat> uh, straight to my account um, so now I'm uh, going to uh, start making them a uh, rotary woofer and I'm hoping that uh, they'll be really pleased uh, with it once uh, once it's uh, once it's all done and dusted uh, so far I've ordered a couple of parts I'm still waiting for some um, the motor has come um, I've got uh, a few other bits and bobs over here. Uh, thank you uh, to a YouTuber who suggested that I use uh, polycarbonate. Um, I uh, bought, so I'd, I'd, I decided um, I'd buy some polycarbonate. So I bought three mil sheet polycarbon po uh, polycarbonate here. <clears throat> uh, like I say, yeah, it's three mil sheet. It's a lot stronger than that acrylic stuff I've been using uh, for the um, for the blades. Uh, so this um, should really give me some proper results, um, and I can cut this as well. Whereas the uh, the acrylic stuff, I'll, it was really difficult to cook it, cut it, kept uh, cracking. Uh, but so I, I bought this, but it's uh, it's three mil. Um, but the the gap in the uh, the arm of the rotor head is uh, five mil. So I'm going to just pack it out with some uh, two mil sheet. Uh, sheet steel and that should give that should take take up the uh, the space um, and obviously provide it with some some extra you know rigidity uh, here's the subwoofer I'm going to be using oh this is the filter um, for the power supply I've bought um, that, that's the only it's a plug socket but it's got a, an EMI filter in it um, I just thought that would be like you know Know, more, more a little bit fancy it's the same kind of plug socket I've got uh, on my rotary woofer uh, the banana jacks uh, that's uh, they're the banana jacks I'm going to use uh, the pack came with four but I only need two um, so yeah and uh, this yeah like I say this is the subwoofer I'm going to use it's a, uh, a pile blue wave this is uh, a 12 inch uh, 1200 watt subwoofer brand new um, sub uh, I bought this specifically because it's got these bolt holes here. Um, so what I'll do is obviously undo those, um, get rid of this. This is just a tin cover, so I'll be taking that off. And then what I'll do is I'll get um, a blade and I'll just cut around this rim here. Um, the reason being is because this plastic uh, like cone which goes over the, the um, I'm not quite sure if you can see it, goes over um, the, the, uh, the actual paper cone and is a slight different shape. So um, I'm going to have to modify that. This, so that's why I'm going to, I'm just going to cut this around here, cut this, uh, this rubber off, and then I'm going to uh, cut the basket out. Oops, let me hold this. I'm going to cut the basket out around here on these parts, just there. And uh, get rid of that basket, and then that will just leave me with the cone in the centre, and then I'll be able to measure out where on this uh, cone I can cut to, and then what I'll do is I'll cut this plastic piece uh, to size, uh, so it sits on top of that cone properly. Uh, glue it all in uh, with some uh, epoxy resin, uh, so it's nice and strong. And that should give me my uh, foundation to uh, be able to start um, mounting it on a plate, uh, so I can put the uh, the shaft of the rotor head through the centre of this um, and uh, get that all glued up. Um, so far, that's come is the uh, the crossover. It's slightly bigger than I expected it to be. It's uh, it's just a Boss uh, three-way crossover. Um, the only uh, output I'll be using is uh, the uh, subwoofer output. Um, the rest I won't need to wire up if 
if the those guys at the studio want to wire this up to control you know any other kinds of audio equipment or whatever they're going to be using they can do that um it just means that they'll be running backwards and forwards to the uh the rotary subwoofer to actually control this because this is going to be um attached to the actual build uh the unit of the uh the rotary woofer um yes it's uh, it's uh, it is it is reasonably good um it filters down to 40 hertz and then um Yes, it filters down to uh, 40 hertz, um, and it's got you know direct or mixed mode, um, uh, bass boost. Uh, what's that? Um, boost which frequency? Obviously, 25 hertz has been set. Uh, you can change the phase on it, and uh, you can also output uh, change the uh, volume output as well. Um, oh, excuse me, the cat's come. Maya, get out! Come on. Good girl. Um, and obviously it's got other, you know, filters for for uh, other channels as well. Um, and so far that's about it. That's come. Um, the uh, variable frequency drive has come as well. Um, I've, it's the same one as the one I've got. Um, I've just hooked it up in place of uh, mine. Uh, it's all set and ready to go. And like I say, obviously the motor has come as well. But uh, yeah, I was just uh, I was just going to test this motor just to see if it's any good. It's it's slightly different to the one that I've got on mine. Um, this is a 0 0.37 kilowatt. Um, the one that I've bought uh, is a 0 0.18 um, kilowatt. Um, I wasn't expecting it um, to be any different to the one that I had. I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. Uh, but it is slightly different. The shaft diameter is slightly smaller. Um, on the spec sheet, it says it's 11 mil. So the sleeve that I'm going to have to mill, um, that will obviously be slightly different to the one that is obviously on on my rotary woofer. Um, so yes, yeah, so I was going to test this motor. So so far, I've just taken the lid off. When the uh, when the, when it uh, when the motor comes, it comes pre-wired in the um, let me see what it's called here the star configuration. Uh, which, so basically, these these little bars here that you see coming across are actually um, when when you first when I first got it were uh, go straight across the top three poles here. Um, and obviously, I don't I don't want it like that. I need it in the uh, the uh, the delta. Um, configuration it's much better um, but uh, I'm going to wire this up now so if you just bear with me okay so we're all wired up um, just another note as well there is a fan on the back of this um, I did take it off does it need it for what um, this frequent for what speed this is going to do it won't be doing any strenuous work um, so I have taken the fan off of the back of this um, that also just obviously aids with it, you know, being quieter as well. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I've wired this up. It's uh, it is uh, again three phase, the same as same as uh, mine three phase motor. Uh, so I'm just going to set this to uh, 90 hertz. It says it's rated for 60, but obviously we want to make sure this motor is going to last a reasonable time, and I'm pretty certain it will, since obviously it's brand new. Uh, so I'll just start this now. Hang on. Oh, it might be a bit noisy. Let me just stick this on a on the end of the towel because we don't want to get uh, trapped on anything. So we'll start. Running all right. What are we on now? Ninety point zero eight hertz. Seems to be running all right.
dead quiet this one. Oops. It's very quiet. It's almost silent, isn't it? It seems to be running okay. I know yeah, usually these, um, if you run them for a period of time at quite high, high frequency, they uh, tend to get rather hot very quickly. Um, they also get obviously really hot when they, uh, they're under a lot of stress as well. Yeah, it seems all right. Let's stop that now. There we go. So um, I've got this set up. Uh, this um, this is a VFD. I've got it set up for a soft start. Obviously, uh, I want the soft start um, because if it was to start instantaneously. Um, you know, I could be damaging, I could damage some components, obviously, like, you know, the rotor head or the blades. Uh, don't want that. Um, so obviously set it up for soft start, that's an obvious thing, and obviously um, soft slow down as well. Um, because there's not enough weight on the, uh, the blades to actually, you know, physically slow it down um, slowly. Um, it, this likes to slow it down almost immediately um, so I've got the soft slow down uh, setting turned on as well uh, so obviously again it doesn't damage the blades when it's slowing down or doing whatever it's doing uh, so so far that's uh, that's all that's come at the moment so so far like I say I've got the motor VFD is already you know that's working um, subwoofer plastics filter uh and the uh, and the crossover as well um just waiting on a few other little bits uh, like the rotor head and uh what else have we got to wait for uh the amplifier i'm still waiting for that to come um got to test the subwoofer later on see how that goes just to make sure you know it's it's all right obviously i'm assuming it will be so uh yeah, get that to get it all sorted out, and hopefully, uh, we can start putting it all together, and uh, it will look uh, relatively nice because I've got some quite nice kit uh, coming for it. So, and uh, might be able to change up the design slightly, make it look a little bit more cleaner. Oh yes, I'm waiting for the power supply as well. Um, that that will help greatly because otherwise it's not going to work. So yeah. Hopefully uh, when we get all that I can bang it all together and uh, get something sorted and hopefully it won't take too long to do. Um, I'm hoping I can get this done by the end of November. Um, but at the rate this is going to take, I think it might take slightly longer due to the fact that um, the rotor head um, is coming from China and they, the delivery time is between two to four weeks. Um, and they said that it, it's estimated between the 16th of November and the 20th of December, which is ridiculous. And I ordered these parts last month as well, so, um, yeah, towards the end of last month. So hopefully um, they come in relatively uh, good time, get this all sorted out, and um, I'll update you guys on the next video. Uh, hopefully that won't be too long. So I'll see you guys then.